<laughs> thank you very much, Taylor, and thank you very much, Brent, for singing me happy birthday this morning. You know, when you get past a certain age, things like birthdays and that become less and less important. And what um, is no different about this one, to be quite honest. But thank you very, very much for all your birthday wishes this morning. It is much appreciated, uh, even though quite embarrassing for me, to be quite honest. <laughs> all right, we've got on the road over here a, um, a passenger in transit. This foam nest frog is just come from, from the dam in front of uh, Juma Camp, Voyatelepan, and is on the road and quite exposed. So it's quite late. And I have a feeling that this frog was probably involved in a bit of a frenzy last night. These foam nest frogs, or grey tree frogs as they're also called, are responsible for making those polystyrene-like balls of foam in trees and on grass edges uh, of pans, in which a female, joined by a couple of males, will kick up a froth of eggs and sperm and this substance basically that comes out as bubbles from their skin mixes together with air and then expands to a ball about as big as a soccer ball and then gets hard in the air and then the tadpoles grow inside this ball and when they hatch from their eggs the substance on their skin then dissolves this polystyrene like mass and then they drip from this ball of foam into the water now a female would have been calling and a male would have come to join her and I think this is a male frog and I think he's on his way to a tree that's standing behind us. He'll spend the day camouflaged in the tree. He doesn't have any particular um, defense mechanisms against being preyed upon. Uh, he's not toxic in any way. Uh, the only thing that he really has going for himself is the ability to change color, very similar to a chameleon. And you can see that while he's been sitting here on the road, he's flattened himself down. He is not moving now because I'm here. Um, and you'll notice that I'm making no effort to, to touch this frog. The reason for that is that frogs' skins are permeable, which means that there's a membrane that fluids and, and substances can transfer between. Um, and it does mean that the acids and the chemicals that I have on my hands from insect repellent and dishwashing liquid and sun cream and everything can actually do some damage to frogs. So I choose not to touch frogs. I love identifying frogs and being around in pans in summertime, but to actually pick frogs up uh, can do them some significant harm. So as far as what you can, where you are in your homes and your environments, don't touch frogs, but definitely don't do anything to harm them. They do such a lot of good for the environment. They are known as indicator species because they are so sensitive. It's a very good um, indicator of the quality of your natural resources around your house or in your parks or your wilderness areas is frogs. If the frog community is healthy and diverse and robust, it means that that particular wilderness area is healthy and vital and robust. And, um, and it's important that because you don't know what outside influences are, are affecting these places. You know, as these wilderness areas get smaller and smaller and are encroached upon by man and our, you know, our industrious nature, um, so we introduce things into waterways which of course get carried long distances and can eventually end up in our wilderness areas. And it's important to know and keep an eye on indicator species like frogs which will tell you what, it, it'll, it, they'll basically tell you what's happening in, in that environment and what could negatively be in affecting that environment. So here we do keep a good eye on frogs. Frogs worldwide are in decline. Frog species and diversity worldwide are in decline. Um, they are pretty much restricted to the, uh, to the tropical and subtropical environments. You do find, well that's where the most diversity at least is anyway. Here I'm not sure exactly how many frog species we get. This is one of the more common of them. 